Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the advanced features of the Digitrax uh, DT602 or uh, DT602D uh, to program your DS74s. Um, so in this particular scenario you can see there's uh, three on this module here. Um, there's uh, one uh, additional one on this module over here and I've just um, added a fifth one, or I'm about to add a fifth one. Uh, this is just um, slung here uh, temporarily for the purposes of uh, this uh, video, or recording this video. So um, let's get into it. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll use our uh, DT602 to program the additional uh, DS74. So what I expect is when we go in and have a look, it'll be in conflict because the base address will be set uh, at one, uh, through four, and of course we've already got uh, a DS74 on the layout with those base with that base address. So let's go in. So you press the menu button, number three, which is utility tasks, and then four, uh, route edit or route edit, depending on what part of the world you come from. A uh, bit deceiving <laughs> why it says route edit, but um, there it is, and that's probably obviously I've got to do because you can set routes or routes uh, with the DS74s. Each one can take eight uh, different routes uh, with as many turnouts as you want. Uh, uh, don't quote me on that, but I've got one with eight, so that uh, it works comprehensively. So anyway, we press uh, four. You can see uh, in the top left-hand corner now it's. Uh, showing DS7X, I presume the X is because there's multiple ones. Again, don't quote me on that. Uh, we press the left throttle button. Uh, it brings up our DS74s. So just having a look at the screen here, uh, you can see the five uh, DS74s and you can see uh, one is red and it's red because it's in conflict. And it's in conflict because you can see that the designation for the base address is um, one through four. Uh, and we've already got one there, which is uh, one through four. So this is a major difference uh, between the DS64. Uh, in the DS64, you had to go in and program all four switch numbers in. Uh, whereas with the DS74, you only program the first address, which is the base address. Uh, and then the DS74 will automatically allocate the next three sequentially. Um, so for example, if you put your first turnout as base address one, the DS74 will allocate two, three, and four as your next uh, turnouts and so on and so forth. So if you go in there and put your base address as 100, uh, your next will be 101, 102, 103, and so on. So what I wanna do now, is program this additional uh, DS74 that I've just added that's currently in conflict. So what we want to do now is select the uh, DS74 that we've just added and uh, apply uh, a base address of 21. I mean, that's it could be any base address you choose, but in this particular instance, uh, it's going to be 21 for me. So just um, by uh, way of example, uh, you can see uh, here, the DS74 is underlined, which means it's the one that's selected. But if you were to rotate the left throttle knob, uh, you'll see that uh, we can select a uh, different DS74. So anyway, that's the one we want to program. So quite simply, all we do is we put in 21, and then you can see here, um, soft button A, change address, we press that, and now, uh, hey presto, it's changed to green, indicating that there no longer is a conflict and the base address is 21. Uh, and as I said uh, previously, the DS74 has set the rest for us. Um, that's about it, really. Uh, just to exit the menu, uh, press X as you would. Uh, back to your throttle. Okay, well, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I hope this has been of some benefit. Um, the only other thing that I'll add while whilst you're watching, uh, not not particularly using the DT uh, 
602, but uh, in my case, the layout has um, taught us slow motion switch machines. Uh, the DS74 comes uh, factory uh, default uh, for, uh, I think it's uh, the pulse type uh, uh, turnouts. So we need to program it for the for the uh, slow motion switch machines. All we do quite simply is press and hold the ops button, which is the center button, hold it for three seconds. You can see now you've got the alternating flashing, uh, meaning it's in um, program mode. Uh, and what we do is we send a switch one closed command. So we come back here, press the switch button, uh, Press the switch button, switch one, uh, closed, uh, and uh, it'll be uh, programmed now into the, the DS74. Uh, a strange thing is that it doesn't really acknowledge it. Uh, what you need to do is just press the button for three seconds and it comes out of uh, program mode. But can I assure you, having done uh, four previously, uh, that's that's uh, well and truly now set to operate the uh, Tortoise or whatever uh, brand slow motion switch machine. Uh, thank you. Thanks for watching. I hope that's been informative um, and um, happy uh, railroading.